Am I seeking my value from the true source? What's going on you guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about what the true source is and where we should be finding our value. Hey guys, I'm Tyler, your Wandering Therapist. I'm excited to be here with you today. I just got back from a trip to Hawaii and now I'm standing in four inches of snow. It's amazing to me that God has such diversity even in the world we're living in right now in this moment where we could be at 80 degrees in Hawaii right now or 28 degrees with snow on the ground in Utah and yet both places have their own form of beauty. On my trip to Hawaii I had a few things happen I just want to share them with you as it relates to where we're finding our value as people. Uh, most of us know that the right answer is, is that we shouldn't find our value from what other people think about us and yet that's one of the hardest things that we find ourselves battling with over and over and over again. Whether it's comparing ourselves with the neighbor and keeping up with the Joneses, or whether it's being worried about what our partner thinks of us, or what our parents think of us, or whether or not my dad told me that I was good enough. All of those things are constantly in our faces. We live in a world that has you comparing yourself to everyone else around you so that you'll feel bad about yourself in order to buy products that will make you feel better about yourself or be better than somebody else. And when we find ourselves in that rat race, it becomes this miserable thing where we never actually get the feeling of satisfaction of knowing who we are. I went on this drive while I was in Hawaii. I went on this drive. It was about a, a 45 minute drive up a single lane road all the way to the top of a volcano. And it was amazing to me that by the time we we're driving on this road, we were driving through a jungle a true rainforest where there were beautiful flowers growing up and grass everywhere and these massive trees with these big leaves. And I was thinking as I was driving how amazing it was that this was a, a rainforest that was actually built on nothing but rock and lava at one point. It used to be completely desolate and now it's teeming with life because of all of the minerals that had come out of the ground that were at one point just nothing but rock. And while I was driving on this road, there was this really cool sensation. I, I had all my girls sitting out the windows and kind of grabbing at the leaves. And, and on this road, there was this really cool sensation where the road looked green, even though it was black asphalt. And so I paused and I got out of the minivan that we were driving and I started walking on the road and I had come to realize that the grass and the, the foliage of the of the jungle was actually coming up through the asphalt and it hadn't yet cracked the asphalt all the way through so there were just little tips of green grass coming up through the asphalt and it was just this beautiful cool sensation to be walking on asphalt that looked green and then as I got back in the car and I was driving I was thinking about how this is sometimes a little bit of a metaphor for our lives where man came in after God had created this mountain out of volcanic rock that then turned into a rainforest and man came in and laid a road over the top of it and how we were trusting on this road that man had built when in reality that road meant nothing and that God could wipe it out at any point in any way that he wanted to whether that would be through flood or whether that would be through the rainforest growing up through the actual asphalt or maybe another volcanic eruption and that we often rely on the power of man thinking that that's our stable ground when in reality accepting God and his will and who he is is the actual place where we can find and I know it sounds crazy because it feels unstable that that's where we find our value in trusting God to be God and who he is that he's going to have this wild and crazy and passionate way of demonstrating who he is whether that's through the volcanoes or the jungle or the trees or the plants and if we can accept that we can also accept that God created us in the same way that we're a constant work in progress that there's going to be constant growth that that growth is actually not going to stop and if we can see ourselves as a work in progress it allows us to connect to God and it allows us to get our answers from God that we are a continual work in progress and it gives us permission to now go into the world and not be perfect and not have everything right and not be absolutely beautiful or have the right kind of makeup or the right car to drive. None of that matters in the big picture. When we submitted ourselves to God and accepted that all he wants from us is to be a work in progress. 
So something to think about today. If there's something that you guys are struggling with, I'd encourage you to take that to God and not to man. Don't place it on the asphalt that's gonna be broken up eventually by the power of nature. Take it to the true source. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, please submit a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you.